You know, I wear this outfit over my clothes these days because people were always saying, I can see your pants. I'm like, well, you you definitely can't see my pants because the outfit isn't see-through, but are you scared of pants? The fabric's quite thick, but what it does have is very unfortunate shading. The whole outfit is a print and it was made for a body that wasn't quite as lanky as mine, so all the shading's in the wrong place. Anyway, point is, I literally have an entire set of clothes on underneath this outfit and I'm absolutely boiling. For the very first part I tried to get these decking boards off by taking the screws up with some very mixed success. In fact this was the only board that I managed to get all of the screws out of. This particular board was in three pieces because when I built this deck I was working to a very very tight budget and I did whatever I could with the materials that I had and that would become even more evident as I take this apart and you see what's been created underneath this deck. It's held together with gaffer tape and good vibes. Well, actually, I don't know. We'll see. When I take this up, I really want to use this opportunity to test how well this was actually built. I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, I didn't build this with the intent of putting the hot tub on there. That was kind of an afterthought. So I hadn't built it to be structurally sound enough to hold a hot tub. So we're going to find out super soon how well this has held up over the last couple of years. I'm using a few different types of tools to try and do this. I have my electric saw, which I may use to get underneath the boards and try and cut directly through the screws that aren't coming out. On occasion, I'm still having a go with the drill because I just have an endless supply of optimism that is unjustified. I'm also trying to attack it with a crowbar and a hammer. And you may also notice that I have my steel toe cap boots on today. Yep, this isn't one of those slipper jobs. Many of the screws were just sunk too far into the wood and the wood was also quite wet, which made it a little bit trickier. So this was just a whole lot of trial and error. What you'll see me do here is trying to get into that gap to cut directly through the screw with the electric saw. And that did work in a couple of places as I continued on with this project throughout the day. But what really got me started was working on this edge and using the crowbar and the hammer to pop off this very end board. Every time I manage to pull the board a little bit further away from the one underneath, I move the crowbar down to move the next bit. This is kind of one of those gently does it type jobs. This is also double speed, by the way. I'm not just working incredibly fast. Once I'd gone up and down the length once, I still had to go back and try and ease some of the screws off that I'd already done. Wait for the really satisfying moment when this pops off. It's not yet. I'm still going. Oh yeah, I forgot I did the other side. Oh, nearly soon. Are we there? Yay! <laughs> Look at my face! I definitely feel successful in this shot, but I also think I'm livid. <laughs> and I naturally spent the next few minutes considering all of my life choices and whether it was worth to take this apart or just to just to sell the house right now pack a bag and go live out in the woods i could forage berries i could eat dandelion you know you can really make quite a lot of different things from dandelion <sighs> i guess i really should finish the deck okie dokie next one I get into a little rhythm in just a bit once I work out a really good technique. But before I get to that point, I realise I have a really smart idea. And that idea is to avoid getting any splinters in my hands and to protect my eyeballs from surprise projectiles. It's amazing when you're pulling things apart like this, how many little pieces of wood ping off. I struggled through these next few rows before deciding to stand on the deck behind it as I could actually get much better leverage. This was for a couple of reasons. I had much better footing where I was standing. I didn't have to try and find a beam to balance on. But when I was finding that I didn't quite have enough strength to leverage these boards off, I would use my boot and I would kick it aggressively. Of course, I wouldn't deny the opportunity to witness firsthand the aforementioned aggressive kicking. And although this does work, do be careful because it can ping back at you or it may give way easier than you expect and you find yourself with your foot through the floor. I took quite a few breaks during this last part while I reminisced 
on what it was like to be able to bend over without your back hurting. And really, it's not only that your back hurts, it's the need to report on it every time. Oh, my back. Every time I stand up, it's like everyone needs to know about it. Everyone needs to share in the hurting of the back. But seriously though, my back. I had a crack at trying to saw through some of these beams. This is really low quality painted wood that I salvaged from something else for this project. It's not something that I can save for anything else. Some of it I might be able to use in the wood burner as long as it's not painted or treated and I leave the wood long enough for it to dry out fully. But it's going to be few and far between, if I'm honest, and I think most of this is going to end up being recycled at the recycling centre. For those of you who knew that I had a little rat friend that was living in my drain, this was another location that it was living, so it seems. It had made itself very much at home, having created this little cosy nest from the weed fabric. The fabric I put down to stop the weeds coming through. And still during this whole process, I have been capturing shots in vertical format for the content I'm making with the brand that I'm working on this project with. I have a habit of taking way, way much more content than I actually need. And this way, if the brand are looking for something slightly different than what I've captured and what I've put together, it gives me an opportunity to introduce some new content that more closely fits what they're looking for. I want these foam pads to dry out, so I'm going to put them off of the grass and in this little bucket so they're out of the way. I also need to do this because I want to move those boards out of the way of where the deck is. I'm going to end up tripping over them or I'm going to end up standing on a nail and I don't want that. Because it is too hot to sit in a hospital waiting room dressed as Spider-Man. I had a delivery of some materials earlier for this project and I was so worried about missing the front door that when eventually it did go and I'd popped at the back for two seconds, I rushed up, opened the front door and said, I'm the garden. Not I was in the garden. I am the garden. This, coupled with the fact that I was dressed as Spider-Man without explanation, gave my delivery driver a bit of a perplexed look. To his credit, he said, OK, and just carried on. Fair play. They must have seen it all. The next big task was going to be getting rid of all of the wood inside of the frame. Using the electric saw was quite tricky, so I thought I would see if any of it was loose with my hammer by doing some random hammering. This bit actually was loose and it came off, but it was not successful doing any more of it with the random hammering method. I came back a little later to have another crack at random hammering. I was convinced this electric saw was going to be helpful in some way. Part of the problem was that the blade that I was using was super long. It's a bit long. Exactly, that's what I was saying. So I went in and replaced it with a smaller bit that was going to be a little bit easier to use. The blade for this tool is actually very easy to replace. A lot of tools will have a very similar mechanism. With this one, you just have to pull this little lever up and then you can pop it down into the hole. Once it's secured, you let the lever go and just do a little wiggle, check that it's in there. <laughs> I wanted to work out as I took this apart whether or not I had built this deck very robustly or not. And I have to say, it feels kind of criminal right now to have sped up this part of the content that took me about half an hour to only about a minute, because this took forever. Now, I don't know if I built this with titanium or granite, but this was not coming apart. Not to mention that standing on the left side of this screen felt like standing inside the sun. I even had to take my tools in a couple of times to cool them down because they were just too warm. And I think this is true, but you can tell me if this is actually a myth, that your battery doesn't work as long if it's too warm. The duration the battery works for is lessened. I slowed this right back down because you deserve to see this part. This part really good. <laughs> that first beam came off first, disposed of that over the other side. But this next bit. Oh, there we go. Well, now we're finally getting somewhere. 
when I thought about rebuilding this deck, I didn't think too much about how long it would really take to break apart. I'm also going to be doing something else with this deck that I haven't yet shared with you that I think will not only really enhance how it looks, but also help considerably with its usability. Can you guess what it is? This was as far as I got today, but don't worry, I am going to finish this project and I will share it with you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see the rest of the videos.